Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my February flip through and my new bullet journal flip through. So if you notice, this is my new bullet journal. It looks different to the last one. I decided to use this one this year because I like this book. I like the paper in here and it's a little bit bigger than my old one. So it seemed like a perfect fit instead of having to buy a brand new one. And yes, this is from Black Magic. I love this series. I'll leave a link in my review. So let's get started. So you open it up and the first couple of pages are just blank because, and then you've got my books read in 2020. I haven't updated this yet because I have read a few more books, but it's just one, two, three, four, five shelves full of books so I can add books as I go and I've often an extra page in case I fill up this entire bookshelf, which is not going to be possible, but I can dream. Next, we have a page that was inspired by little book owl Kaz. It's my wish list with, you know, have I bought the book, the book title, the price. She doesn't have a price in hers, but I put a price in mine just so I'm aware of how much the book is costing and who it was wrecked by. And then I also have another page that she did where I just put recommended and that has audio books and songs, artists, artists, bands, and other stuff, and then TV shows and movies. I really, really like these two pages. It's just simple and I can replicate the thing on other pages if I need to. Then lastly, I have a page for arcs. I don't get many arcs at all, but when I do, I do like to record um, the book title, the release date, the publisher. And then I just have like a space for backlist arcs as well because that can happen. And once again, a blank page in case I fill this up. Then I have a page that was inspired by uh, books with Chloe or journal with Chloe. This is my physical comic book TBR. This is the TBR that I have where I read online. And as you can see, I've finished my Miss Marvel read up. So I'm all caught up to the magnificent Miss Marvel. It's so good, you guys. You need to read it. And yeah, so I haven't ticked off a lot. I'm hoping to tick off one on my Tome Topple or Contemporary Thorn Tibia. Um, and then I just listed some of the ones that I need to read that I haven't gotten yet. So The Wise Beasts of the Wizarding Wizardom and The Way of the House Husband, which seems really, really cool. So those are the main couple of pages. And then we move on to just my January flip through. So this is January. I did a um, winter song theme there's the rose, there is the important dates where I just record what I've uploaded onto my channel and just has like a month at a glance. Then I have my pre-order and impulse buy and then I have a little chart where the month is broken down into weeks and what I spent. I might get rid of this because I don't really use it and this page is enough. And then my classic days read spread. So I've got my audiobooks, my screen reading and my physical. And I did do a sort of like Roaring Twenties theme as well, so I mixed it up a bit. Then I have my classic books red spread, where I have a red and then it's color coded, so red means that I read it on screen, green means I read it physically, and, and then I've got my standouts, which were Fumbled by Lex Martin, love that book. Aladdin, Faf Magavar was really good, and Magnificent Miss Marvel was perfect. Then we come to the February thing and if you can't tell by now February's theme was Oren High School Host Club and I love it. The, I've got a quote which says that's an interesting notion in its own way by Kiyoya who is my favorite and then I've got the title page which just says Feb, blank page, then my overview which is really cool and then I've got I've came up with just saying purchases because I got sick of saying pre-order and that so this page will be reworked, but I did a rose, which is Kyoyu's rose, because he is the financial advisor to the Oran High School Host Club, and it's great, and it fits. Then we've got my day's red spread, and I am trying out a new formula with the day's red, and it's working really, really well. I've got a pink rose for honey, and then another purple rose for Mori. And then I've got my two be red, and as you can see here, it's a heart to fist and broken with Molly. And I've got this bookmark to help keep it in place. And then the title page, which took hours, and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. And then finally, we've got my books read, and I have used washi tape instead of writing it out because that day's red spread took me ages to do, and my hand was so sore. 
So I've just been doing teacups, which is a motif in Oran High School Host Club, and then writing down this. And as you can see, I've color coded again. And then we just have two roses. One is orange for Karu, and one is blue for Hikaru Hichan. These are my two favorite characters. And then we just got my standouts and everything. And it's just a beautiful spread, and I love it. And that's pretty much it for February's like reading spread. And I have done my contemporaryathon spread, so I wrote contemporaryathon up the side. All the challenges, my TBR, I do have a picture of my faves from Go Get em Nakamura, which is Nakamura and Hirose. And then up here, I've got the start date and the finish date. And then on the other pages is where my wrap up is going to be for the spread. And then I have my tome topple, which again lists out challenges up the top. It's got its. Uh, start and finish date as well and then I've just got the sticker from Redbubble and my TBR which is just the stylus thing and then the wrap-up page so that is all for my uh, bullet journal flip through I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you look forward to March's theme I don't know what it is yet but if you want to vote on it I will put up a poll on my Twitter which is linked in the description box so if you want to vote on that then that's cool but see you guys in the next video bye